We did it. Hello. We did it. I'm Another so Joe Wicks workout. Done. He's got a stitch. <laughs> Problem with these workouts for me is it hurts my left big toe and my this left wrist easy. and my left wrist and it hurts my right knee and my right elbow. You might find it easy because you are nine years old and you are young and sprightly and glorious. The other problem with Joe Wicks is that it makes you hungry, or at least it makes me hungry, all day long. I've just had poached eggs on toast, sourdough, yummy! And um, I could eat it all over again. I literally feel like my stomach is about to eat my ribs. So I'm having a coffee. Mm. And Wilfred wants a hot chocolate. So I'm doing that. Oh, you lot have made me start thinking about chopping my hair off. But I've got this lovely hair. Not this lovely hair, but hair that I bought. <laughs> I bought some hair that you clip in. And um, it's it's absolutely the same colour as my hair completely. And you just, you clip it in around here and it, it gives me hair down to about here. Double the thickness and it looks so nice. It makes me feel all kind of swanky when I go out. When I go out, <laughs> which even in real life isn't very often. Um, and if I cut all my hair off, I won't be able to use that. Oh, look, can you see this? That's my washing machine beeping. So this is a mother's work is never done, let alone salaried. So it says here, what have you done so far today? It being Easter Sunday, and if you're a mum, I expect that by now you have peeled the potatoes, laid a table, wiped a nose, recovered four wet towels from the bathroom floor, replaced the loo roll, helped draw a cross section through a volcano, put on a load of washing, plaited daughter's hair, hung decorated eggs, slammed in the lamb, loaded the dishwasher, unloaded the dishwasher, ironed a shirt, stubbed a toe, made gravy, strained gravy to eliminate lumps. Oh, I could go on. But it says here, Someone somewhere has calculated that if mothers were paid for the hours they work, that is 5,840 hours of childcare, 420 hours of cleaning, 468 hours of chauffeuring and so on, we would each earn £89,000. Now, this is an article that is eight years old, so you can bet your bottom dollar it's way more than that now. I take a bow. We should all take a bow. <laughs>
I'm going to um, dig the trenches for my um, second early potatoes now. And I need to earth up. These are my first earlies. And these are my main crop. So I need earthing up now. And uh, wow, I think, I think that bean right there in the middle at the front has put a bit of a growth spurt on. That's cool. These are my turnips. They'll need thinning out shortly. But what is eating them? What is eating them like this then? Because uh, they've got the front there gone all lacy. I think that, that's slugs, but I can't see any slug trails. So this time I am going to make sure that they go in the right attitude, so chit up, and they say leave two strong chits, so it's like I've only really got one strong chit, maybe half, so I'll rub these other little ones off, because uh, they won't do much apparently, but they will take energy. There we go, there's a potato lesson for you. I look old. Oh my goodness, look like my dad. Water, but it's running out of rain but we have rain coming tonight this makes me want to do a wee the view is pretty it's my wilderness area I've got a lot of ground elder and this year I was going to get some Tajatis Minuet Mexican marigolds and put them in there because the enzyme that the Mexican marigold roots put out kills off ground elder. I found my tripod! <laughs> It was where I left it. I'm making another COVID concoction, crazy COVID concoction, much like the shepherd's pie, no, cottage pie, stroke, lasagna, stroke, masaka, stroke, macaroni cheese. <laughs> I did last week that was yummy. Um, I'm making this carefully and cider Welsh rarebit from this cookbook. However, I'm having to substitute a few things naturally, so because I don't have any cream, so we're using milk. <laughs> um, and I didn't have any cider, so we're using wine. And of course I had to make sure it was okay to cook with. And I'm very happy to report that it's fine to cook with. I'm not sure it's okay to drink with, so I might have to have a little top up just to check. I'm just taking off my boots, my Uggs, because my feet are so hot. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm going to do a sort of cauliflower cheese topped with Welsh rabbit with leeks. I hope it's gonna be nice. <laughs> 
I'm just trying to use up some bits, but I've kind of failed on that because I'd got some bread rolls in the fridge because I knew that they'd gone stale, but they hadn't gone mouldy. So I thought I'll put them in the fridge. That'll save them from going mouldy. And then I can do a kind of bread and butter pudding with them um, as, a, as a dessert. But I didn't do that over the weekend. So I thought I'd do the savoury bread and butter pudding, but um, they have gone mouldy now. But it's okay, because I've got some sourdough. And I'm making another loaf tomorrow. So um, we'll be fine for bread. <sighs> I'm a bit all discombobulated. The children aren't having this because they probably wouldn't like it. I will make them all taste it, but they are having chicken goujons, peas and jacket potatoes. Oh, and I might just boil up some new potatoes that I've got um, with some mint from the garden and some butter. Oh, it's not going to be slimming, is it? Can't wait for my salad to be pickable. And I've just noticed that my leaf beet, my spinach, my perpetual spinach, hasn't germinated. I thought it was germinating, but it turns out they are radishes <laughs> that I put in alongside. <sighs> A bit disappointed about my spinach because it's one of my most favourite things to eat. And it grew so well for me last year. Never mind. Of course, if this doesn't work out, you won't be seeing any of this. So in here, I have got cauliflower, sautéed buttery salty leeks, and uh, a white sauce, to which I've added some stock cube and mustard. Now I'm going to slice up some sourdough and toast it. And then I'm going to smother it with the Welsh rarebit topping. Pop that on top of this. And then shove it in to be cooked. Fingers crossed. I'm very optimistic. I was talking to Franca about it earlier. She's absolutely fine, by the way. Um, I was talking to Franca about it earlier. I said, I'm going to do a kind of... Welsh rarebit bread and butter pudding. And she said, oh, I've never heard of that. I went, well, I'm inventing it. And she said, there might be a reason why it's never been done before. <laughs> so, we will see. <laughs> I realise I am very foolish to think that I can invent a delicious dish that no fancy pants restaurateurs have got on their menu or in their cookery books and no food bloggers have got got it on their website because i have googled <laughs> oh and everyone i have to eat it anyway because we're getting low on food Ooh. Typically, I've forgotten to film it, but in there we have got, oh, hang on, you can really see my reflection and I look like some kind of spaced out frog. We have got three slices of sourdough toasted and then I've topped it with the Welsh rarebit recipe from my Ethicurian cookbook. And um, I'm now just baking it on hot. And I still haven't cleaned my cooker. I will clean it. I will get the hoover on it. I'll get all the little crumbs out and then I will set it on the pyrotechnic setting on a nice warm hot sunny day when I can have all the doors and windows open because it does get a bit whiffy but it's a really good facility. If anybody out there is looking for a cooker I highly recommend you get one of the self-cleaning ones. They are smashing. What? What is the verdict? It's yeah, lovely. It would be 10 out of 10 if you haven't burnt it. So it can only be a, a seven, really. Because <laughs> <laughs> I burnt it? Yeah. Shame. <laughs> So a second ago, you were saying 
it was burnt, and now... It looked burnt. You're saying you like the crunchiness? Yeah, it was lovely. Did it, it taste burnt? It tasted, no, it didn't. It tasted amazing. <sighs> you ate with your eyes. You judged a book by its cover. I don't think I'm in focus. I'm giving you an evil look. I can see that. That was, that was a blinder. Are you scared? <laughs> I'm giving you the weapon. I've absolutely no idea what that is. My <laughs> mum will have to comment below. My mum always fills in the information details down below. I've been promising Bill all day that I would cut his hair. He wants a number two all over. Um, but it's quite late and I'd really rather not be doing this, but... We want. He needs to have it done because, you know, with kids like Bill, things have to happen in a certain order. So here we go. I absolutely hate Bill's hair. He looks awful. Yeah, but it's better for his health, isn't it? I know he likes it. <laughs> I just Personal hate, hygiene. I hate that style. I know, he'll be able to manage it much better, but... Oh, it's my beautiful boy gone. All of his lovely hair. It just looks like he's... I think he's going to go and sleep in the barracks tonight. My choice of knitting this evening is either the crunkled sock or my northeasterly blanket. But you know, I've not picked this up in about 10 days. So I think I'm going to knit my northeasterly before I forget what I'm supposed to do. Oh, just look at that. Cool, isn't that lush? Ain't you lush? You're very welcome. Was that a nice cup of tea you just brought me there? Okay. Oh, cup of tea. Husbando knitting poodle. No bunny. iPad. We need bunny. 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 Oh no, here she comes. Here's a bunny. Hey, bun. <laughs> Look at her face. Hi, bun. Look at your spotty tummy. Oh, she's so warm. Oh. Do you know you're loved? She's so warm. Her tummy's gone really pink. Are you happy, Bunny? Are you happy? Mm. You snuggled up. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just wrapped her up like a burrito? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even see her head, Toby. <laughs> She's in there wrapped up like a mummy. <laughs> She's not. You're good, aren't you? Oh, she's lush.